Good morning world. Happy Monday everybody. How are we doing? I hope you're all well. Um, on a lovely <laughs> classic Manchester uh, morning round here. So love from Manchester to wherever you are, into your studios, into your homes, etc. Um, today is Doodle Day in the Paint With Pete studio. So all you really need today is a pencil, thus, and a black marker. I'm going to use Posca's today, as always. So they're my favourite uh, drawing pens, the Posca um, kind of family of pens. I'm going to get a new one, we're going to start a new pen. So it's a new week, it's Monday morning, I've got a lot of energy to create. Um, but I'm going to show you how to use and start a brand new Posca. So if you have picked up one of these in the past, uh, whether it's you know from uh, recommendations from friends or if you've been watching The Paint With Pete's and you've got one, I'm just going to go through how to use a Posca pen. Uh, very briefly, we're going to do a warm-up, we're going to draw our doodle kind of warm-up page and I'm going to go down the idea uh, or down the route of imagination and we're just going to draw some stuff in our studios, in your flat, in your shed, wherever you are, wherever you're uh, celebrating art and channeling some creative juices and energy for the paint with peas. Let's just get this guy sorted. Okay, um, so yeah, I hope you've had a good weekend. Let's channel some of that creative energy into a Monday. It's what the paint with peas are for. I want to show a few people out in a second. There we go. Hello. Good morning, good morning, Mr. Ed Hansen, as usual. Monsieur, how are we doing, brother? Okay, uh, I've got a few things I want to shout out. So, yeah, I showed it last week. Uh, but as we're in the doodle session, I think you should see it again. I think I showed it in the colour um, session last week. But as it's a doodle session, I want to shout out Aubergine Ollie again. Thank you so much to Sarah Holmes and Nick. And obviously, Ollie Aubergine. Amazing work. Uh, I did some work for these guys a few months ago. Um, and I saw this and just thought it was absolutely incredible. Uh, again, it's the heart of what I do. The kind of doodle idea where it's just all imagination. So please uh, give him a round of applause, send him a clap emoji, but love to Oli Aubergine. He's 11 years old, right? This guy's 11. Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> this guy's got an amazing future. Whatever he does, I just know that his approach to life is a very fun and funky one. Um, and he's not scared to pick a pen up and just draw. So yeah, love to Oli. We're gonna be drawing something sort of like this today. Uh, again, I wish I had Oli's imagination. Um, sadly, after being, uh, you know, classically trained um, in art school and college and stuff, I do have certain prejudices about uh, letting go um, to this extent. So I kind of, I'm jealous of his uh, imagination. There's a donut and a sun. We've got a dinosaur with a top hat on. And we've got some running fruit, uh, a triangle with an eye in, some worms, a happy and a sad cloud. Just beautiful work. Thank you so much for the homeless family. And Mr. Olive, and also, I would like to shout out my mother. Um, so I got this through the post today. Uh, this is absolutely incredible. This was from Redbeard the Great. So I'll just get that, I'll show you now. So we did these. In the lettering workshop, we make little uh, kind of name plates like this. Uh, I made Redbeard the Great because I wasn't bored. It wasn't that I was bored of writing obviously or Pete, but another alter ego, why not? Redbeard the Great, and I've got sent this by my mum who watches the show. Absolutely amazing, thank you very much. There's mine, and there's my mum's a million times better. <laughs> uh, I will be getting that tattooed very soon. Thank you. Okay, that's the spiel done, let's get creative, okay? So, um, first things first, I wanna show you how to use one of these Posca pens. So I've got uh, several different sizes. So I've got the medium, they do super thin as well, so I've got a medium one, I've got another the fatter medium, and I've got the, the big 5Ks, okay, so these are the big ones that I use, but they are very special pens, and they are water-based ink, I would highly recommend having a look at them, um, you know, completely child safe, you, you know, you can drink the ink, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, I've probably drank <laughs> a, few, a few pints of this in the past by accident, uh, just some splashes and stuff, whatever. But we're going to go through how to use the Posca. Okay, so I've got my board here because you need a bit of a hard surface. So the pen wrapped up. Just going to twist the top off. 
So there's the plastic gone. Plastic gone. There we are. Okay, the new pen. When you, when you do get a new pen, if you take the lid off, you'll notice that the tip is white. All right, that's a little bit of foam or felt, a bit of a felt tip there. You can take that out so you can have a look at the pen. So it does have two ends to it if you don't lose it. Slippery bugger today. So it's got the same end, it's got like a bullet tip, both ends. So that means you can use it, once one end gets flat, you can turn it round and use it again. Okay, there's the Posca. So I need to put my lid back on it, make sure it clicks. Hopefully you can hear that. Shake it. Make sure that lid is very, very tight. Shake it, shake. Basically I turn it upside down. It's obviously been stored with the top up. So you have to shake it to get the ink nice and fluid again, much like our creative juices metaphor. So shake for about 30 seconds. You'll still see the tip is white. Put the lid on the back, get a board. And basically all I'm doing is pressing down on the nib. That's all I'm doing. I'm not lifting it up and, sm and smashing it into the board. I'm pressing down like this. I'm going one, two, three, four, like that. Really quick. Regarde. And there we are, we have a new pen. There we are. You'll notice that the nib is now black as he is completely saturated with the ink. That means one thing and one thing only. That means we are ready to draw with him, okay? Posca, completely ready to go. You know, just take two minutes. I have set up a little Ko-Fi or coffee. Um, it's C-K-O dash uh, F-I. Um, slash paint with Pete. If you do want to uh, donate to the paint with Pete, you can put one pound, two pound, three pound. You can make a little donation to the paint with Pete's. Uh, it does say buy me a coffee, but you can buy me a pen. These are about three pounds. So you can, if you want to buy me a pen and be involved in the paint with Pete's and obviously support me, support buying the art materials and all that sort of stuff, I would very much appreciate it. And you will buy me one of these, which means that I can keep drawing and obviously I can keep providing amazing shows, uh, your words, not mine. Uh, <laughs> I can keep providing the paint with peas. I wanna do these for as long as I can do. I wanna do them for free as long as I can do as well. Um, obviously I'm using my materials. If you would like to help me and support the paint with peas, please, it will be on the page. It's a K-O hyphen F-I slash paint with Pete. And you can give me, just donate three pound and buy me a pen. Amazing stuff. There we are. Okay, let's get creative. So I'm just gonna move my sign. You can just go there, can I? Stay. Okay, so I'm gonna do my big piece, all right? Today, we're gonna to do eyes. Very easy icons. Again, another icon in the Paint with Pete Armory. Uh, we've done skulls, we've done hearts. Uh, we've done loads of hearts, actually. Really good hearts. We've done sort of wiggly lines, but now we're gonna do eyes, all right? Nice and simple. Big eyes, fill the sheet. The way I draw eyes, oh, like this. Okay, I just want a sheet full of eyes. So again, we've got our skulls and our hearts. The eyes are another really, really good way of just doodling. It's a little bit more thought about. There's a couple of different shapes in there, but I go up, oh, big oval, Big circle, and then eyes, eyelashes. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit here, turn the music up, just a little bit, and then we're gonna fill our page with eyes. You're very welcome to join me. Draw your eyes however you want. If you wanna copy me, please do. Let's see that sheet fill, guys. I love using a new pen, oh my days. The, the ink quality is amazing. It doesn't matter if they're a little bit rough, we're just filling and populating the whole page with some very simple obsolete eyes. 
Six eyelashes on the top, six on the bottom. We can do massive ones or we can do little ones. But I'm gonna try and make them all the same. Just different sizes. There's my page. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, loads of space, so we can go over those lines all you want. There we go. This might take a little bit longer than uh, the hearts or the skeletons as well. Again, reducing that time, instead of being all rushed a little bit and just kind of getting those shapes right, will really help. Just practicing. Gaining that confidence with the page, and again, just being able to work directly straight onto the white page. So let's do a couple more eyes. Dead simple, but dead effective. I love these eyes. The film geeks among you, uh, this is a reference to Metropolis. Uh, yeah, Metropolis, uh, when all the eyes, when she comes out of the shell and there's loads of eyes. The idea of uh, kind of voyeurism, um, but a comment towards the internet if you want the uh, the super film geek version of it. Let's keep drawing though. The first film, actually, if you want a, a little film fact, the first film to hint at video calling as well in Metropolis, 1923, I think it was. Um, most expensive film ever made as well. Check Metropolis out if you want a very uh, arty, very uh, metaphorical um, film. Absolutely one of my favourites. Amazing work. It's where the eye comes from as a reference. Again, I'm not letting any of the uh, other eyes uh, affect what I'm drawing. Every time I approach the canvas, I'm imagining there's nothing there, and it's the first mark, all right? Fill that page, everybody. Getting there, nearly finished. Couple more down here, I think. Another one there. Okay, and one here. Okay. Okay, I need to get my pen a bit more. Um, Fluid, more ink in him. So I'm just finding a hard surface. I use my hand, make a fist, just touch it on there, it works. So we get a solid line again. And we're back on our eyes. Okay, last few. Big one here, why not? Fill that page, and again, trust yourself. Go into those corners, go into those little bits that you think you can't fit in, and find a smaller eye, and draw it. There we go. So another one here, maybe one here. One here. So think of more. Loads of eyes, all right, it's really good practice. Really, really good. I'll say some good mornings in a second as well. Hello to everyone watching, good morning. Okay, a little bit of a speed test as well. 
If you do want to take a little bit more time over your eyes, please do. Uh, again, experiment with your pens, fat a nib, thinner nib, take a little bit more time, time it, do it really, really quick, time it, see which one looks best or if there's a different effect that comes out. Uh, we'll go here as well. Okay, cool. Um, one here. Loads of eyes. That's what we want. Cool. Last couple now, sorry. I always want to do more. Bit of a curse, I'm sorry. So, another one here. All right, nice, there we are. Might have taken a little bit longer, maybe uh, 10 minutes. But again, just a nice big sheet of eyes. We're gonna move those into the color uh, session tomorrow. So if you have just drawn that, please tune in tomorrow, 10 to 11 on Tuesdays. We're gonna color these in a little bit, right? So this is gonna be our template for tomorrow. So we can move him over. Just move him down here. You can just go over to the NHS for a sec. Lovely stuff. Just gonna double check my pen. So again, I've got my board out. I'm just gonna show you again. So I'm just holding the top and pressing down until I see black ink, lovely, come out of the end of the nib, there we are. Okie dokie. So there is a, obviously, in every paint with Pete, you need a little bit of imagination. There is no, uh, we're not using any inspiration, I mean, everything's inspiration, but we're not using any pictures or kind of uh, solid objects today, uh, or just now. We're gonna go into that just after brew time. Um, so now we're going to use Ollie as inspiration, all right? So we can use our imagination. Part of that imagination is being open to being influenced, all right? I am very influenced by this drawing. Um, it's been sitting on my wall for a couple of weeks. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to attempt um, to flip. I'm going to flip it. So I know you guys have been drawing with me. I'm going to draw something that Ollie drew, all right? So. Thank you again to Sarah Holmes and the uh, the Holmes clan um, and Big Ollie for drawing this up. Uh, I'm going to probably draw a sun. I'm going to try a donut, and I might some draw, try and draw some uh, dancing fruit. So we did our um, breakfast items in the very first uh, paint with Pete of 2021, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking at this, this is so good, so good. Uh, so we drew paint, uh, a banana, some toast, uh, a coffee pot. Uh, we put a hat on the on the slice of toast as well. Um, he was called Brown Bread, uh, as a kind of Cockney rhyming slang. Again, I love being influenced, um, and I can't not look at this. It's, I, again, every time I look at it, I find something different, like the little spider with the, the angry spider, or like the cup with the straw in. So I'm gonna put this up. And sorry, Ollie, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, copy you if that's all right. I love this. I'm gonna draw a sun with the shades on. I might, yeah, fruit and a donut. All right, we might draw some more as well. We'll go into our own illustrations in a sec. But again, you can be influenced by anything. I'm influenced by every type of art, especially creative dudes like this guy. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna put him up. Okay, there's loads of stuff in here. We've got a camera, uh, we've got a, a dancing uh, ghetto blaster. I love this. I'm gonna switch my page around and we're gonna try to draw some of all these. Um, we're not copying first and foremost, right? This is a very unique drawing. I certainly do not wanna be a, an advocate for just straight copying. All right, we're gonna customize some of the ideas in here. So again, I want to treat it, I want it to be viewed as uh, a collaboration. Uh, I know Ollie, uh, I know his family personally. Um, I'm sure they're going to be absolutely fine with us um, customizing a couple of ideas. But again, inspiration is everywhere, so we can draw our own versions of some of Ollie aubergines, all right? There we are. 
you know, I'm, I'm influenced by uh, illustrators from the 80s like Keith Haring, uh, modern day kind of versions of, of that kind of style like John Bergman, um, and this, and obviously, Big Ollie Aubergine. So, I'm going to choose a sun because it's a bit rainy outside. I want to draw a sun with shades on. So, let's draw a sun with shades on. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, there's his shades. A little bit of light in them. Uh, he's going to be a smiley sun. There we go. So let's put his body in. Oh, doesn't matter. There we go. There's a sun, and he's got one thumb up. <laughs> it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're gonna do an arm, a thumb. Uh, yep, yeah. absolutely amazing thumbs up there. And then he's got like zigzags coming out. <laughs> wow. He's got, uh, yeah, he's grinning, really, really nice, happy, smiley sun. I might give him some eyebrows. There we go. Okay, uh, next, uh, we'll do a donut. I'm gonna do a, a donut. Thanks, Ollie. Oh, wow. Okay, so a donut, I'm gonna do it like fatter and maybe uh, standing back a little bit. Nice big circular donut. So I'm going to use the center of the donut for his mouth. There we go. Okay, he's got. So he's, he's going what? So his eyes are different, so we're gonna do a confused donut. Love this, Ollie, absolutely love it. Yep, he's got sprinkles on him. There we go, so he's got his hand, and he's, he's going, what? Amazing, has he got legs? He's got legs, so let's put some legs on him. This guy's 11 for the record, I am not 11. <laughs> okay, so what's next? So we've done our sun, we've done our donut, we're gonna do some dancing fruit. Uh, Aubergine Ollie has done a pear and an apple, uh, I'm going to bring it back to our banana from the very first week. So I'm going to do a banana dancing instead. So the banana is at the party with Ollie Aubergine's fruit. All right, so let's do a banana dancing. So we got a rough shape of the banana in. There we go. I'm going to give him shades as well because he's a cool banana. There we go. So he's kind of driving like this, so he needs a, an arm bent. A dancing banana, there we are. So he's smiling as well. So we've got a dancing banana, they've got music notes around them, so we can 
just to show that there is music playing. Amazing. Okay, I think we've got time for one more little doodle. Um, so we're going to do a happy cloud. Um, again, we're channeling positive energy today. There are clouds in the sky. Let's make them happy, right? So I'm going to do a nice big happy cloud up here. Amazing. Look how happy that cloud is. Insane. Amazing work. Okay. Such a happy cloud. Let's, um, I'm just literally going to... This is amazing. Amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so it's happy even though it's raining. And there we go. Uh, we've got a bit, well, let's do, uh, should we do one more? I'm going, yeah, I'm going, okay, uh, we'll do one more. I really uh, like and relate <laughs> to um, the guy with a straw in his head. So he's got like a cup for a head and a straw coming out of his head. Um, I'm going to do him here. This is amazing, Ollie, thank you. Okay, so I've got a bit of inspiration here, yeah? But I'm going to draw a, a cup. I'm going to put my beard and my, and, uh, well, I can't put that hat on him. He's got a straw for a head. Um, but I'm going to put a beard on him, make him look a little bit more like me. Uh, there we are. Amazing. Stripey straw. Okay. So I've got my glasses on. Okay, so there's Pete. We need a beard. Okay, I'm being very uh, congratulatory on my own beard there. <laughs> oh, good, and there's some tea in it as well. And there we go. That drawing's incredible. Okay, so all we've done is use one of my artist friends, uh, Ollie, who is 11. I'm a professional artist. I can still be influenced, inspired, and blown out completely away um, by people's drawings, all right? He's an 11-year-old. I'll say that every time I, I show the picture. Um, so all we did was use a little bit of inspiration from these amazing things. I'm also going to get some of these tattooed, if that's okay. Um, and we drew a happy sun, uh, a, a happy cloud, a donut, kind of a, you know, like a whoop, donut, doesn't know what he's doing. We drew a banana, funky banana, and we drew our little, our own portrait mug as well. So I hope if you wanted to draw your own portrait mug, uh, please do that. Put your own features on a mug. There's Pete. All inspired by this little guy right here. Okay, so again. Use that influence, uh, use that influence, use that inspiration. 
he can go up here just so he's always in the show. <clears throat> uh, celebrating art is one of the main things that I really want to, um, that I love doing, and also that I kind of want to remind people of doing. So if you see, if you know someone who's um, drawing, uh, who's an independent artist, whether or not, you know, whether it's professional or not, whether they're just enjoying it and just doing it for the love, for the sheer enjoyment of drawing, um, please shout them out. Please like and share their stuff. Um, you know, also research um, your local artists as well. Uh, I am not the only independent guy in Manchester. I love everybody I've ever worked with. I love the amazing community, the creative, artistic, music uh, community in Manchester. Um, so shouts to everybody still doing their thing, uh, still gritting their teeth and going straight through uh, this pandemic with a creative heart, all right? Very, very important. Um, it is now brew time, so we are exactly halfway through the show. Uh, we've just done a little bit of doodling, a little bit of uh, pen work as well. When we come back after brew time in five little minutes, all we're going to do is look around our studios and draw stuff. Very, very simple. We're going to create a flash sheet. So in tattoos or in illustration, something similar to this, it's called a flash sheet. We are going to create our own from items in our own studios. Uh, if you want to grab some water, grab some food, put the brew on, get a little bit of fresh air for a couple of minutes, please do. Again, five minutes of brew time, I'm just going to grab some water. Good morning everyone. Uh, yeah, Ollie is amazing, right? Thanks for all the love. I will definitely be sending that on to uh, Lady Sarah, whose birthday it is uh, today. Um, that's Ollie's mum. So I'll make sure that all the, uh, all the love and the compliments and the comments go directly to them as well. Uh, again, I love being in a creative world and um, the amount of different types of jobs that I get asked to do uh, that are based around creativity. You know, I absolutely love it, especially when they're directly uh, for one of the most creative kids I've ever met in my life. Uh, Ollie is a dude. Um, we've only met a few times, but again, shouts to the guy. You can, you can enjoy art, you can make art at any age. You know, these shows are specifically for, specifically for everybody. <laughs> they're designed to, they're specifically designed to kind of be a welcome pack uh, or kind of the first initial steps into artwork or breaking the page, getting confident in drawing and again, covering the five or the four kind of main basics that I love in art, which are doodling. Mondays, doodling. Tuesdays, colour. You guys pick the colour, I paint it, I add it to a canvas, and a big canvas, and we do a couple of bit of technicals as well. Wednesday is lettering. Love lettering, if you know my work, you will know that I love drawing letters and kind of creating fonts and all that sort of stuff, so please join me for that. Thursdays is portraits. Again, the, uh, the origins of obsolete all start with a portrait. Um, where they are now is where the skull uh, kind of works developed. So a lot more like this, which I'm going to finish right now. Uh, so we're just doing these, again, these little workshops. Hopefully uh, they're sparking a bit of creativity in you. I'm just going to add a, a single black line over our dude. I didn't finish him on Friday in the gallery session last week. Um, so he needs a name. So if you're watching, you get to name him. Please name this guy. He has got um, some blue, grey. Uh, there's some green, some purple, some white, pink, gold, uh, turquoise, and obviously white and black in there as well. Please come up with a name. Oh, my bad. My bad. He already has a name. Um, thank you to Abigail Swan with Two Ends uh, last week. Uh, I think it's Colin. Someone remind me. Is this Colin? I do apologise if you were watching the show last week. Uh, we did name the canvas. It has slipped my mind. I do apologise. I think it's Colin. Um, someone name him. Thank you. Okay, so... Let's have a look. I know, right? I uh, hope Abigail's watching. Okay. Apologies. There's a lot going on in, in my head this week. Okay, so I've got my bullet tip uh, black. Again, nice solid black on there. What I'm doing is going over this pink line, so there's a shadow pink.
Tuppy tap. Get his eyebrows in. Eyes are done. There's nostrils. I'm basically just going over the pink line that I drew uh, last week. Nearly there. So just the headline to do. Bit of hair, why not? Crew, uh, okay. And there we are. Gavin. Yeah, I think it might have been Gavin. Okay, uh, we need Gavin the, Gavin the uh, I'm gonna call him Gavin the Great, simple as that. So again, in honor of uh, the post I got this morning and the Red Beard the Great uh, name extension from last week. Um, so, he is Gavin the Great, I'm gonna sign him. And we'll do the reveal at the end of the show when all the paint's dry, right? So I'm just gonna sign it. Oh no, what am I talking about? Well, I'll do the reveal and then we'll start. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm doing it now. It's like Christmas. One of my favorite parts of painting is the reveal. So if you put a, a bit of masking tape on your canvases as a border, When you peel it off, it will produce this really, really clean line that looks amazing in a frame. There we go. Make sure you get the low tack uh, masking tape if you are going to do this kind of drawing and painting, otherwise it will tear your page up. Not fun. Where are we going now? We'll go here. Okay, last one. And there, my friends, beautiful. Yep, just checking my line on. So there's Gavin the Great. I might even extend that to Green Gavin the Great, or Gavin Green the Great, it's too many R's. Uh, Gavin the Great. Is now officially born. So let's sign him. Gavin the Great is now officially born. There we are. He's not finished until I've signed him and named him. So thank you so much for helping me uh, choose the colour and the name and then remind me of that name. Amazing. There's so many names in my head from uh, previous canvases and ideas that I have. Um, so thank you for bringing me back down to earth there. Okay, next. So our next thing. I'm going to go on a little piece. So we're going to be working a little bit smaller now. I used to, this was a A2, I'm now going down to A3. We're going to spend the next 20 minutes, or 15 minutes, let's go down there, hold on. And just looking around our studio, we're going to take a couple of minutes just to have a look around, 
and then we're gonna draw the things in our studio. Again, I want it to be spaced nicely, so each, each uh, object that we draw has its own space around it. We can then add little things to that, much like these. So we can add little flares. You could call them serifs, I guess, little strokes, so you could little shapes like the asterisks, the hearts, and the ink splodges. So we can add those to these little illustrations and you'll start seeing them a little bit more kind of like tattoos. If you, if you know the tattoo world, I mean, I have several, um, but a tattoo, uh, if you go into a tattooist, you'll see a sheet of designs. They're called flash sheets. By creating or by choosing and drawing a couple of different uh, shapes and objects in our studio, we can create a nice sheet that has six. I'm gonna go for six, one, two, three, four, five, six objects in their own little uh, worlds, in their own little contexts. All right, so we paint and peek and go back up. I hope that makes sense. If you've never had a tattoo, um, I mean, sort of half well played, but half, uh, it's amazing. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm also gonna try and draw them without drawing my pencil lines, all right? Um, I'll probably change that idea about 30, uh, two seconds into the idea. Um, so, let's divide our page up, you might not be able to see it, he's just here. Let's have a look, can you see it? Yeah, just about. I'm going to put marks in now, just so you can see it. So there's our, there's our board, yeah, okay cool. So I'm just going to divide this into six, roughly. There we go. Let's go out. Just so I know how much space I'm working with. Okay, cool. So, uh, my little list of stuff. Let's move that. Okay, so I'm just li literally looking around my studio and I can see several things that we could draw. So, uh, we've got, where is he? I have a skateboard. So we can draw a skateboard. I've got um, some paints, so like this. So we can do a little paint pot. Uh, we have some pens and pencils, so I'll do one of those. So a pencil and a pen. Uh, what else have we got? So we'll go around. I've got a hammer, so we can draw a hammer, old school uh, pin hammer or panel hammer. Uh, what else have we got? Some masking tape. That's kind of boring. Uh, we've got some ink. We'll draw our gold ink as well. I can see that. Um, I can't reach it just now, but it's just like the graphics. What am I talking about? So we can draw this, nice little pot of paint. Uh, oh, there's a few things in here. Uh, so we've got like a mini suitcase. So I could draw a mini suitcase. We'll try that. Uh, but first, let's draw some pens and pencils. Um, so I'm gonna do them crossed over. So I'm gonna do a pen and a pencil. Again, let's just get these in, nice and neat. There we go, so an X. So I'm gonna do a pencil and a pen crossing. Pretty badly drawn pencil, doesn't matter. Pull the pen. Hey, nice and easy. Just a pencil and a pen. I'll show you them actually, just so you can see them properly.
Dead simple. Pencil and a pen. Draw an X, flatten it up. Fill in the lines that look like a pencil and a pen. There we go. Okay, next is a skateboard. So I'm gonna do a skateboard here. I'm gonna do it going across, so just as a guess. Just to make sure I've got my kind of uh, proportions just about right. So it's got wheels. Again, a little bit of imagination. I've only got a deck. I'll show you if you want. I've just got a deck here. There we are, the obsolete rune font in gold or in bronze. But I know they have wheels, so I'm using my imagination just to put some wheels in. There we go. Uh, and then what can we do coming out of here? So flames. Maybe some more here. There we go. I'll show you that. Just tiny little doodles and illustrations. Again, kind of looks like a skateboard with flames coming out of it. Okay, so next. If I was designing tattoos, I have done before. Um, I, I normally spend a good couple of days, if not a week, if not longer. Um, some of the clients will vouch for that. Shouts to Dino. <laughs> uh, but if you want uh, anything designing, please give me a shout. Uh, I certainly will take longer than two minutes uh, to draw it up, All right, I promise. Um, so these are just little ideas. Let's draw a paint pot. I'm gonna freestyle that. So I'm just gonna use this as my inspiration. Okay. Okay, love paint. There we are, my war paint, but the opposite. Put some on as well. So, just so you can see it a bit nearer, I'm kind of wanting to keep to this size a little bit, so there's a, a roughly drawn paint pot. There we go. What else have we got? Oh, we've got a flag, so we've got our big most wanted flag uh, for the gallery, um, and we've also got our backpack as well. So we'll do both of those, I'm gonna do a flag and a backpack. All right, so next we'll, be, uh, we'll do a backpack, why not? Check. So the kind of so the bag is there. Yep, just about. Okay, straight in with the ink. How does that work? Okay, little obsolete backpack, nothing too serious. Oops. 
And again, why not? With some ink. Dead simple. Imitating Mr. Ollie, but again, using items around our room. What else have we got? Okay, um, so yeah, hammer. Just check I've got a list. Uh, Oh no! Okay. Uh, my nib just got caught in my lid. Don't don't get your nibs caught in your lids, everyone. It's dangerous territory. Uh, okay, so we'll do a hammer. So hammer is like a long T. What was that? Yep. Yeah. So again, specifically a, a panel hammer. You can tell that I'm concentrating a little bit more, I'm taking a bit more time over it. There we are, panel hammer. Let's put some uh, wood detail in him. I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, so there's my hammer. Just doodling, not spending any longer than a minute, two minutes on each one. And last but by certainly no means least. Excuse me, just got some water. Just over six minutes left. Okay, last but by certainly no means least, the cap. All right, so I'm just gonna draw a cap. Uh, let's do it a little bit differently. There we go. There's the brim of the hat, the top, sorry. Very simple baseball cap. I'm going to turn it into a, a six panel, like this one. Make it an obsolete hat, why not? Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, excuse me. Let's put all my ink back. So, uh, we've just had a look around our studio and I've drawn some super basic versions of items around the studio. I've just spotted, a, I've got a Batman bottle opener. Uh, shouts to Martin Fitness. Um, <laughs> uh, I can see a picture of Ian Brown. I can see a skull. I can see a lamp, a radiator, some shields, a bag flag, backpack, uh, light switches. There's loads and loads of inspiration just from looking around. If you can draw from observation, from what you're seeing, that is such a, uh, you know, limitless inspiration because it's just everything. Um, also really good practice to take your time over it if you wanted to, spend, you know, a while getting the shape right. Or, I mean, the first part of call for that kind of mentality, I think, is just drawing and then reduce and then uh, getting more accurate with the more drawings you do of that object. So again, I know these are these are kind of you know very quickly drawn. 
not the best perspective. I don't care. That's not what the paint and pizza are about. This is just uh, drawing. Even them, even though uh, I know they're rough, I wouldn't uh, necessarily get any of them tattooed straight away. The hammer, uh, maybe. Um, I know that I can go back to these and develop them. I can look at different types of skateboard. I can look at different pens and pencils, different angles, different bags, different types of bags, different colors, etc. Certainly infinite amount of different paint pots uh, and hats. And obviously a hammer, pretty easy shape to draw, but there's loads of different types. Mine's a panel hammer, uh, not like a claw hammer. Okay, nice and easy. Let's get all these back on the wall so we can see them. So, today, we were taking inspiration from Mr. Oli Aubergine. Again, the source of doodling. Look at it, absolutely incredible. So we drew some versions of his stuff. Uh, again, please understand that this isn't, uh, I'm not just saying, let's just copy him. Um, there was a, a definite work in practice and process and a technical ability in here, even if it is doodling. I wanted to do my own versions because I am influenced by this, all right? That's all that was. So, we drew a sun with shades on, a smiley rain cloud for Manchester, uh, a donut, much like Ollie's donut here, and we did our own face in a cup with a straw, there we are, and a groovy banana as well. There we are. But that was after we did our paint. Oh, there's a few more eyes we can add here. I've just spotted some space. I don't like negative space. I mean, I don't like white space. So let's just put another one in here. One more, because I'm being picky. Right, picky Pete in the building. I just want to fill that sheet up so we've got a nice little white board around the edge. Again, if you haven't done one of these, please, you know, if you want to do it as homework, it won't take too long. Just draw eyes, fill your page. We're going to move this into tomorrow's session. Um, so we're going to colour in bits of the eyes. We're going to pick a couple of random colours, maybe just reds or yellows or greens, and we're going to do a, a piece on here. Okay, I then added to Mr. Gavin the Great, named in the Paint With Pete, obviously, uh, art sessions in the Paint With Peas. Colour chosen by the audience. Name chosen by the audience. Name reminded, <laughs> reminding the host from the audience. Thank you for that. Um, amazing work. There's Gav. Uh, Gavin, he can go up as well. He can go here. And then all we did was use our eyes and our hands and our pens. So we had a look around the studio and we chose six different items to draw. I gave them a little section each, so they've got their own little kind of um, area. Sort of imitating the uh, tattoo flash sheet, but again, skateboard, pens and, pens and pencil, a backpack, some paint, a panel hammer, and a hat. There we are, lovely stuff. Thank you so much uh, for joining me this morning. Uh, I know it's Monday, sometimes very hard to get those creative energy out. You're helping me uh, wake up, get creative. And again, as much as you might be drawing with me, I am also drawing with you, right? You keep me company. So if you've got a brew, if you're drawing with me, if you've got me on in the background, whatever, thank you, all right? It means loads to me that you're involved and you're wanting to kind of uh, express and get those creative juices going. Uh, please don't be scared to shout me out, like and share anything you like. Um, do have a look at my website, that's houseobsolete.bigcartel.com, that's houseobsolete.bigcartel.com, it's in all the socials, um, and yeah, send some love, spread some love, stay safe, stay creative, have a lovely week, I will see you very soon, ciao!